welcome back to my channel. In today's video demonstration, I'm going to show you a really sweet card using the stamp set A Walk in the Woods. This is a card that I made for a friend of mine and I loved how it turned out and I thought it would be fun to show you how I put this card together. So let's get stamping. All right, so to make this, I'm starting with my Misty Moonlight card base. And let me show you the wonderful stamp set. First of all, Walk in the Woods, so lovely. This has been on my wish list for so long. As soon as it came out in the catalog, I knew I was going to get it. Um, I'm glad I finally did because I love it. So I've already got my mushrooms, my little, is that a hedgehog? Not really sure, but he's cute. I've got that and the leaf already on the blocks. But I want to prep my card base first. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. And a little bit on the radical side, you guys. I'm taking my Daffodil Delight ink pad and I'm just holding it like this um, because I'm going to swipe it right across the paper. And of course, this is our old style ink pad as well, but I'm going to do it again in um, our new style ink pads. So you don't want to you you don't want to cover up all that blue. And now I'm going into my bumblebee and this is our new style ink pads and it works the same. The bumblebee is just adding a little bit of a warmer shade of yellow. That's totally fine. Don't worry when that happens. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my crumb cake. just really really lightly um, adding some crumb cake on there and again being careful not to cover up all that blue okay that's my background may not look like much but it's gonna look really really nice when it's all done so now I'm going to bring in my stamps and I'm taking my black memento I'm going to ink this up I'm going to stamp it right here right on the bottom okay and I'm going to take my leaf and just start adding some leaves randomly here and there. You're not going to see all of these anyways because there will be a banner put on this card. Okay. So that's the background that I have. And you're probably thinking, Tina, that doesn't look good. It really does when it all comes together, I promise. At least I think it does. So now I'm taking my Clear Wink of Stella and I'm just going to add a light wash of this Clear Wink of Stella over all of those stamped images. And they're just going to pop off that page with that fun glitter. Can you see what I've done there? It's so cool. Okay, if you're not believing me that this card is going to look good, stick with me. Next, I am bringing a piece of our designer series paper from our 6x6 package of Feels Like Frost. And I am going to use the silver side. And I'm going to cut this down to measure two. So I'm going to cut this down two by five and I'm going to do exactly the same thing to this piece of designer series paper that I did to the Misty Moonlight. So I'm going to start with my Daffodil Delight. I mean you could use your sponges if you would rather. You don't have to use the ink pad directly but I like to. Okay, and my crumb cake. Okay, now where that is 
silver, you need to wipe off the ink that is um, resisting on top of that. So I'm just taking a napkin, you could use a piece of paper towel, and just wipe off that extra ink. And then that's what you get. Imagine that in different colors. So nice. Now I'm putting this into my triple banner punch and punch that out. So now I've gone ahead and cut out uh, a piece of black and white baker's twine from the Playful Pets um, ribbon combo package. Now I'm going to take my Stampin' Seal. I'm actually using the Stampin' Seal Plus. I'm just putting a little bit of uh, adhesive behind the back because I'm going to wrap this around and I just want that to hold it in place. And actually that's up too high so I'm going to do a strip down there. There we go. So I'm going to wrap this around once and twice. And trim that end off. Okay. Get some more stamp and seal. And I'm going to put this right here right on the center of the card. So yes, it's hiding some of those mushrooms and things behind it, but that's okay because it's fun to have the mushrooms peeking out. All right. Now I have gone ahead and I used the largest oval from the stitched uh, shapes dies and cut a piece of Whisper White. And the world needs more of you. And for the sentiment, I'm gonna stamp it with the Misty Moonlight. I'm going to stamp that right up near the top. This little cutie. I'm going to stamp right here. Okay, that's what I have. Alright, I thought it would be good to bring in some clean paper here for the background. Okay, so I'm going to do some coloring. When you're coloring with Memento, you have to be careful because it's not like stays on where stays on does what it says. It stays on. Um, so I'm just going to be careful with the amount of water that I use. But I, I do like using my, um, my water painters. So with my water painter, I'm picking up some of that ink that I just dabbed onto a block. And I'm just going to... Just go on the inside. Oh, that's too much. Blot some of that off. Try that again. There we go. I'm just going around his eyes. And again, I got a bit too much water, so I'm just going to dab it off. Now I'm actually going to pull a little bit of that color in on the fur. Zoom in for you guys there. And I'm gonna wipe that off. I just picked up some bumblebee now on the block. And I'm just gonna follow these lines with the fur. I'm gonna do his nose, the bridge of his nose. And I'm using the same colors that I used to stamp on the card base. Now that I've wiped that color off, I'm just dabbing it into my crumb cake ink pad, picking up the color on my block, and I'm just going to add some of that crumb cake right on top of the yellows. And this just adds, I don't know, a really nice look um, with the inks. A little bit around his face. To finish this card, all I'm going to do is take some Stampin' Dimensionals and put them behind my die cut. And I'm just going to put this right there, like so. Okay, I'm going to take a glue dot. I've got ink all over my fingers. <laughs> my finger matches the, the paper. That's alright. I'm going to put that glue dot right there in the center. 
and then take my bow and put that on. Now for the center of the card, I'm going to stamp thanks for being marvelous in my bumblebee and my crumb cake. So I'm going to stamp it first in the bumblebee and then I'm just going to dab it into the crumb cake. Stamp it right there. So I get the two tones. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. And it's a really fun technique, actually. Uh, you can really experiment using different stamp sets and colors. And I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making this card for you. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Happy stamping.